We are uh, the ECD-191 Group 9 Telemedicine for Wound Care. Our uh, sponsors are Cal IT2 and uh, Scripps Institute of Oceanography, and our, mentors are, or our mentor is Bill Hoshkis. Yeah. And so we have an 8 megapixel camera over here. It's a high resolution camera that's uh, used for taking uh, uh, images of wounds. Uh, alongside it we have uh, two lasers. Basically what we did was we took two laser pointers and cut them in half, uh, put a switch in so that it could be a toggle switch as opposed to a pressure switch, which uh, puts a, which will be imaged onto uh, the patient's wound. And from that, you can use uh, software to um, uh, create a scale. All right, so right now what's going on is uh, Brandon's going to take a picture. He's just uh, uh, aligning the camera and the lasers so that they create those two spots right next to the fake wound Crosby has. And uh, with the correct lighting conditions, he's going to take the picture and we'll be able to uh, send that to the computer for imaging and for uh, software analysis. Once we plug the camera into the computer, we can uh, grab the picture and uh, put it into our uh, work folder in MATLAB. It's already in there, actually. And then we have a program that we can use to uh, I'll measure area and length measurements on the wound so uh, the doctor has an idea whether it's healing or not. And so we can use the uh, laser spots to set a scale so we get the right le length measurements, and the lasers are 11.5 centimeters apart. So then press enter scale, and it rescales it for us. And then we can do like length measurements. It'll say, us, you know, his wound is 5.6 centimeters long. Or we can also um, do a circumference measurement too, and go all the way around. And then in addition to that, we can do an area measurement. Let's do a quick one because it. If you want to get it right, you have to spend more time clicking around it. And then just do enclosed area, and it'll give us an area measurement. So it's about 11 and a half centimeters squared area is wound. So how are we going to um, send our data? So we can export it to Excel spreadsheet, work document, plain text, or um, HTML file. The other nice thing is the nurse can type uh, text comment, uh, audio file. Uh, we just do the same thing, and you will play it. Um, later on, if the projects continue, um, we might use um, uh, SQL Server, so people can access in real time.